So who is Harold Jenkins? Well, in episode 7, you find out that Harold Jenkins was born on the exact same day as the Umbrella Academy. Except he has no powers. His mother died during childbirth, and he grew up with a very abusive father. At one point in his life, he even tried to join the Umbrella Academy, literally by hopping over a guardrail, but Reginald Hargraves was having none of it, and basically told him, kid, you're not special, go home. Later on, he went home, he was pissed off, and he ends up killing his father and getting 12 years. Harold Jenkins was released from prison five days ago, and the first place he went was the Umbrella Academy, where he saw Klaus leaving, and he dumps Reginald's journal into the dumpster, and that's when Harold Jenkins grabbed it. Harold Jenkins is Leonard. When Five returns to present day, he ends up telling everybody about Harold Jenkins, and with Diego's police contact, they do end up getting a file on Harold Jenkins and realizing, holy crap, this is Leonard. But Diego also finds out that he is wanted for murder for Detective Patch. But that's not going to deter Diego. They end up heading to Leonard's house, but they don't find anything. Not Leonard, not Vanya, nobody. And that's because Leonard took Vanya to his grandmother's cabin in the woods. His plan is to have her harness this power that she clearly has. One thing they do find out in Harold's place is that he is obsessed with the Umbrella Academy, has been obsessed with the Umbrella Academy, and for whatever reason has a disdain for a lot of the members of the Umbrella Academy. Now, while Diego, Klaus, and Five go try to track down Vanya, Luther is still fuming over the fact that he wasted a large portion of his life on the moon for no reason. He goes to the one person he thinks he can get answers from, and that's Klaus because he can talk to the dead. He demands that Klaus talk to their father and find out why he sent him to the moon for no reason. But Klaus can't because he's not sober yet. On top of it, he ends up getting dragged to a rave by Luther because now Luther wants to let loose and live a little and live like Klaus does with not a care in the world. But that's like the worst place to go for someone trying to get clean. At the rave, Klaus ends up getting into a fight and killed. And when this happens, he basically goes to heaven. For anyone curious out there, God is a little girl on a bicycle. She sees Klaus and points to a shack and says, he's waiting for you. When Klaus enters the shack, the shack turns into a barber shop and he sits in a chair. And the barber is, of course, their father. So Klaus is going to be able to get some answers. The father admits, yes, I sent Luther up to the moon for no reason. But he also tells him, I know the apocalypse is coming, and I was preparing all of you for this moment. And I knew that something drastic would have to happen to get all of you guys back together, so I committed suicide. Reginald is about to tell him one more thing, but all of a sudden, Klaus just pops out of it, and now he's back. But back to the other Hargrave children, who are trying to track down Vanya, and realize that Five has been concealing a gunshot wound the entire time. So now it's on Allison and Diego. Diego has luckily retrieved an address of Leonard's grandmother's house. And right before they're about to leave, the cops show up and arrest him for murder. So really, it's just on to Allison. So she heads to the cabin to try to save Vanya. But Vanya doesn't need saving. That night, Vanya and Leonard end up going to a bar, and as they're walking out, they get accosted by just a couple of douchebags. And they end up beating up Leonard pretty good. When this happens, Vanya freaks out, and the power ends up coming out of her, and she ends up messing these guys up. Leonard ends up getting taken to the hospital where he's lost an eye in the fight. But don't worry, he gets replaced with a prosthetic eye, which is the eye that number five brought back from the apocalypse. Now, two people we have yet to talk about in this episode are Hazel and Cha-Cha. Hazel doesn't want to kill Cha-Cha. He just wants to go off with Agnes, who owns the donut shop, and live a life. But Cha-Cha doesn't really see it that way. Unfortunately for her, she's tied up, and Hazel's trying to make amends and say, look, just let me go live my life. But Cha-Cha says, you better kill me now, because if you don't, I'm going to hunt both of you down, and I'm going to kill her right in front of you, and then I'm going to kill you. You just hate it when a partnership breaks up. 